Hello friends, myself Stethanger, your mentor for today's session. I've been teaching mathematics in India for the past 12 years. And in today's lecture, we will be discussing some previous year questions of AIME, that is American Invitational Mathematics Examination. It's a very prestigious exam in US uh, to select candidates who will finally appear for International Mass Olympiad from US team, right? So let's start the session. This is first question uh, of today's session. The question is from geometry, as you can see. And this is uh, this question is from first attempt of 2021, right? So the question says that in the diagram below, ABCD is a rectangle with side lengths AB is 3, BC is 11, and ACF is a rectangle whose side lengths are 7 and 9, right? Okay, we need to find the area of this shaded region. So let's name the points A, B, C, D. This is the rectangle, right? and AE CF this is another rectangle AB side is given to be 3 and this BC side this whole thing is given to be 11 all right this AE A side is how much AF okay AF is given to be 7 all right so let's name this point as F point right and let's name this point as E so AF is given to be 7 and this AE that is given to be 9 right so what we need to find we need to find this shaded area all right so as you can see by symmetry let's assume this area is x units so by symmetry this should also be x units and let's assume this area to be y units so by symmetry this uh, this area should also be y and let's assume this is z the shaded area right so all right uh, if this angle is let's say theta right so this angle should be 90 degree minus theta as we know angle in a rectangle is 90 degree so this angle must again be theta right similarly this is 90 and this is 90 so i can say that let's say this point is uh, uh, m and let's say this point is n so i can say that triangle a p m that should be similar with triangle a f n and we know uh, similar triangles, uh, the areas of uh, two similar triangles is actually equal to the ratio of the squares of their sides. So x upon y, that should nothing but that should be equal to 3 square upon 7 square, that is 9 upon 49, right? So I can say that the value of y, that is nothing but 49x upon 9, okay? This is the first relation that we got, right? All right. So if I say area of rectangle ABCD, area of rectangle ABCD, that is nothing but 2x plus z, and that is 11 into 3, that is 33, right? And if I say area of uh, rectangle AECF, that will be 2y, and what was y? y is 49x upon 98. So I can directly substitute y here, 49x upon 9 plus again z and that is nothing but that will be 9 into 7 which is 63. Now from these two equations what we need to find we need to find the value of z which is the shaded reason right so let's let's first subtract these two equations so what we will get uh, 98 minus 18 so, all right 80x upon 9 that should be equal to what uh, 30 right so from here what we will get x is nothing but x will be 27 upon 8. So this is the value of x. Now substituting this value in any one of these equation, either this or this, we can get the value of z. So let's substitute in this equation. So that will be 27 upon 4 plus z. That is nothing but 33. Why 27 upon 4? Because there, there is 2x, right? So z comes out to be how much? Uh, 132 minus 27 upon whole upon 4. We have taken just the LCM, right? So yes, so that will be one, 105 upon 4. So that this is the value of the shaded region, right? So what we are being asked, the area of the shaded region uh, common to the interiors of both angles is m by n. So all right, so this 105 upon 4, this is given to be m upon n and we are asked find m plus n. So what will be m plus n? That will be simply 109, right? So as you can see, this is a, uh, this is a simple question, right? Uh, so let's proceed to the next question. Okay, this is a nice question. This is from uh, combinatorics with a little bit concepts of uh, number theory, right? 
so the question says that let s is the set of positive integers n with the property that the last four digits of n are 2020 all right so let's assume n to be some number a and then ending with 2020 or we can say that n can be written as 10 raised to power 4 into a where a is any number plus 2020 all right now further the question says that when the last four digits are removed that is uh, okay this only a is remaining the result is a divisor of n okay so according to this statement when the last four digits are removed that is if this 2020 is removed the resultant number which is in fact this a uh, then a must be a divisor of n so according to the question a is a divisor of n right this is being mentioned in the question right for example, uh, this is saying 42020. Uh, let's say this is the number. And if we remove this thing, the 4 will be a divisor of what? 42020. And this is perfect. And uh, 4 is clearly a divisor of this. And what, what we want, uh, what we need to find, find the sum of all the digits of all the numbers in S. Where S, uh, what was S? S was the set of all positive integers N, right? For example, the number, okay, the, this number, uh, we need to find the sum of all digits of all the numbers that are present in S. For example, this 42020, that will contribute 4 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0, that is 8. All right, no problem. So first we will see how we'll, we will find the number of elements in this set S, right? All right. So clearly this A is a divisor of uh, N. So A must be, uh, A is clearly divisible by this part. So A must be divisor of 2020 right so this this statement further implies that a must be a divisor of 2020 right this is the biggest hint that we uh, need to do right uh, now let's let's do the prime factorization of 2020 that will be nothing but uh, 2 square 4 into 5 of 5 and 5 of 5 is nothing but 5 into 101 right so this is the and 101 is a prime number so this is the prime factorization of 2020 so let's let's write the divisors of 2020 so the smallest is 1 so the biggest is 2020 the next one is 2 so here it, the second last should be 1010 right so next should be 4 so there should be achha, in total how many divisors should be there uh, i hope uh, you know the formula for divisors of 2020 right so just do the prime factorization and uh, whatever be the uh, powers of prime numbers just add one and multiply by themselves right so there are total 12 divisors of 2020 so let's let's list down all the divisors of 2020 so 4 and here it should be what 5 or 5 and then 5 here it should be 4 or 4 right what else uh, 10 is a divisor yes and here it will be 202 and uh, 20 is a divisor yes and that should be 101 have we listed all the divisors yes 3 3 6 and 6 yes these are the 12 divisors right now in uh, the, these are the divisors of 2020 right so these these numbers are all these 12 numbers are capable of our a so what are the final number let's uh, append 2020 uh, after every of uh, every among of these uh, divisors right so what are the possible values of n let's say um, let's take first divisor 1 followed by 2020 let's take second divisor 2 again then 2020 4 2020 5 2020 and so on okay let's put all the divisors so 1010 and then followed by 2020 and the last the biggest value of n is 2020 so these are the possible values of s uh, n the basically they all these are these all numbers will be present in s now what we are interested in uh, we need to find sum of all the digits of all the numbers in s so we need to find the sum of all the digits clearly 2020 is being appended uh, after every number every of these divisors so let's calculate the sum of these divisors and then we will multiply it by uh, 2020 is giving 4 as a sum and there are 12 divisors so we will simply add 12 into 4 that is 48 right so let's add these sum so that will be 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 uh, 10 will give us 1 20 will give us 2 right uh, 
uh, and then uh, let's say 101 will give us 2, 202 will give 4, 404 will give 8, 505 will give 10 as a sum and 1010 will again give 2 and 2020 will give a 4, right? Plus, plus each 2020 is giving us 4 as an effective sum and it is being calculated 12 times. So plus let's add 12 into 4, right? So let's calculate this sum. Uh, this, this should be our answer, right? Whatever this sum is, this should be our answer. So this is uh, 3 plus 4, 7, 5, 12, and 3, 15, 15, 6, 21, 8, 29, and this 12, 41, and this 4, 4, 41 plus 4, 45, plus 48, 93, right? So 93 must be our answer, okay? Right? So find the sum of all the digits of the answer. So the answer should be 93, 93. So let's write 93 as the final answer. All right, guys, let's move to the next question. Okay, this is a simple question. The question says that find the number of seven tuples of positive integers A, B, C, D, E, F, G that satisfy the following system of equations, right? A, B, C is 70, C, D is 71, E, F, G is 72, right? All right. So the, here the biggest hint is this middle number 71. Actually, this is a prime number. 71 is a prime number, right? So if C times D times E is equals to 71 and 71 is a prime number. So one of these three terms, exactly one of these three terms must be 71 and the remaining two should be one, right? Because uh, a prime number can never be written as a product of two natural numbers except one and the number itself, right? So uh, since clearly C is also there and E is also there, so C and E cannot be equal to 71. Why? Because clearly A into B into C and E into F into G is not a multiple of 71. So that will that, that implies that D must be 71 and C and E, they must be one, right? So we are left with only two equations. A times B should be 70 and uh, F times G, that should be 72, right? So the prime factorization of 70 is nothing but uh, two into five into 70, uh, seven, right? And uh, the prime factorization of 72 is clearly 9 into 8. So it is 2 cube into 3 square. Right? So in how many ways uh, we can write uh, this AB, uh, this 70 as a product of two natural numbers. So that will be, you can take uh, A as any one of the divisors and we will take the other divisor. So there are uh, 2 into 2 into 2, that is 8 option in which AB will be equal to 70. Right. Similarly, uh, FG can be equal to 72 in uh, 3 plus 1, 4, 2 plus 1, 3, 4 into 3, 12 options, right? Basically, uh, I have just calculated the number of divisors of 72. If uh, one divisor is F, then the other divisor will be 72 upon that particular divisor. And clearly, they are not the perfect square, 70 and 72. So we will get an even number of divisors. As you can see, 8 and 12 are both even, right? So in how many ways uh, we can write AB? as 70 that these are eight ways in how many ways c d e will be 71 there will be only one way right d must be 71 c must be c and e must be one and in how many ways we can write f g to be 12 they will be 12 ways so in all we will have 96 right so that's it guys uh, that's it from today's session today we have discussed uh, three previous year aime questions and in the next International Mass Olympiad series, we will be discussing questions of Singapore Mass Olympiad exam, right? So see you in the next session. Till then, take a very good care of yourself. Thank you. Bye-bye.